And so let's have another example for uh, tangent lines of functions uh, using uh, differential calculus. So find the tangents of the uh, find the tangents of slope two to the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to uh, five. So if we have the standard equation for a circle that is the same as x uh, minus h squared plus uh, y minus uh, k squared is equal to or the radius squared. So from your analytic geometry, we're in the ordinates h and k. So this is the ordinate of the uh, center, and obviously r is the radius of the uh, circle. But for this case, as you can see, x squared plus y squared is equal to 5, which means h is equal to 0 and k is also equal to 0. The center of this circle is on the origin. So the given slope of the tangents that we are looking for is should, should be equal to uh, 2. So the slope of the tangent should be equal to uh, 2. Okay, so we have the function of the circle. This is x squared plus y squared is equal to 5. So let us determine the first uh, derivative. So this is the same as 2x uh, dx plus this is 2y dy and constant 5 is uh, 0. So dividing all terms, so this time, uh, by dx or 2dx, I will be having this is the same as x plus y, this is the dy over uh, dx equal to 0, or the equivalent of dy over dx, or that is the same as the slope y prime, is the equal to, okay, I have tra transpose, this is negative x, that is divided by I divide by y. So we have that is a y prime is equal to negative x uh, over uh, y. So how to determine the value of x and y? So take note the slope 2 is a uh, given. That should be the slope of the tangent lines. So m is equal to the slope of the tangent line is equal to 2, which is equal to the y, okay, the y prime. So substituting the equivalent of y prime equal to 2. This is now 2 is equal to a negative x over y or this is the same as 2y is equal to negative, okay, negative x. So let's say this is your uh, first equation. We may substitute the equivalent of uh, this value of pwede kong hindi pa siguro. So we have 2 is equal to negative x over y. Pwede natin gawin is uh, x is equal to negative x equal to negative 2y. So 2 times y, then divided by negative 1, x equal to negative uh, 2y. So this is our second equation. This is equation number uh, number 2. So what is our first equation? Ito, yung bigay na equation na uh, circle. This is our equation number uh, number 1. So we may substitute the value of x here to determine the value of y. That is to determine the point of intersection or point of tangency. Saan ba dadaan yung mga tangent line dun sa given na, uh, na circle? So, from the equation of the circle, x squared plus y squared is equal to 5. The value of x is negative 2y squared plus y squared is equal to uh, 5. Negative 2y squared is now positive 4y squared plus y squared is 5y squared is equal to 5. So this is divided by uh, 5, so we have y squared is equal to 1. So we have the points of intersection or for the value of y is, okay, kunin natin yung square root, both sides. A okay, square root of 1 is either positive or negative uh, 1. So we may use negative 1 or positive 1 since that is square root. So substituting those values, so let's say if y is equal to positive 1 muna. Okay, from equation number 2, what will be the value of x? So we have x is equal to negative 2 times 1. So we have x is equal to, okay, x is equal to negative uh, 2. So ito yung first point of tangency natin, okay, that is 1, ano, that is negative, and then uh, negative 2, gumamit tayo ng positive 1. So this is the first point of tangency or point of intersection ng tangent line at saka ng uh, circle. Then let's say if 
The value of y is equal to negative 1. We have to use, again, this equation number 2. x is equal to negative 2 times, uh, this time, negative 1. So, ang lalabas naman na value ng x dito is okay, positive. Okay, positive 2. So, this will give us the second point of tangency that is positive 2, negative 1. So, yun yung mga points of tangency na tinatawag or point of intersection of the tangent line and the given uh, circle. So, we are now to determine the equation or equation since dalawa yan. Uh, take note, equal yung slope nila. Isa lang yung slope na binigay. Okay, the slope of the tangent is 2. So, let's say we have the first point. Okay, the first point of tangency, this is at negative 2, positive 1. So, we say x of 1 is equal to negative 2. y sub 1 is equal to positive uh, 1. So, we have the slope equation, m is equal to. So, this is tangency. Uh, so, tangency is the way we or so of the tangent line. This is equal to y minus y1 divided by x minus x sub 1. So the slope is uh, 2 equal in so y minus what is our y1 positive 1 divided by x minus what is our x sub 1 negative uh, is negative 2. So this is the same as 2 equal to y minus 1 divided by x plus uh, 2. So simplifying further We'll be having, okay, by cross multiplication, this is 2x. And this is a 2x plus, 2x plus 4 is equal to y minus 1. All right, then we'll be having this now 2x minus y is now equal to negative 5. So this is the first equation of a tangent to the circle having a slope up. Uh, two. Then, consider naman natin yung second point of tangency. So again, the given slope of the tangent line is uh, the given slope of the tangent line is uh, 2. So this is the second uh, point of tangency. The second point of tangency na binigay niya dyan is we have that is 2, negative uh, 1. So, take note kasi nagkaroon na dalawa. Possible na dalawa yan for a reason. Okay, nagkaroon na yung binigay dito na square root of 1. Yun yung basis natin. So, we have x sub 1 is equal to positive 2. y sub 1 is equal to negative 1. So, the slope equation m is equal to y minus y1 divided by x minus x sub 1. The slope of the tangent line is 2, this is y minus, our y sub 1 is negative 1, this is divided by x minus positive 2. So by cross multiplication, this is now 2x minus 4 will be equal to, uh, this is now y plus, uh, y plus uh, 5. So we'll be having the equation 2x minus y is now equal to, uh, sorry, this is, y plus 1. This is y plus 1. So we have 2x minus y transpose that will be positive 4. So equal to 5. So this is the equation of the second uh, tangent line. So 2x minus y is equal to negative 5. And 2x minus y is equal to positive uh, 5. Alright, if we are just to show the graph. I have the circle. Ito yung circle kanina. That is x squared plus y squared is equal to 5. So again, h and k, yung coordinate ng center niya is the origin. Kung i-recall yun sa analytic geometry ninyo, then r squared is equal to 5. So the radius is the square root of 5. Alright? So kung ilalagay natin yan sa so Cartesian coordinate system, Okay, 
Okay, so for example, this is okay, this is the uh, circle. Ang radius niya is square root of 5, that is approximately 2 point something. So square root of 5 is uh, 2 point 24. So, kung kukunin natin yung coordinate ng first point dito, our first point is negative 2, 1. So, let's say if this is negative 1, uh, negative 2, then positive 1, so this is 2 point something yung radius. Negative 2, negative 1. So, itatasun na nandito yung first uh, tangent line na meron siyang slope na 2 rise 1 run. Or, yun. So, rise over run. So, having a slope of uh, 2. So, yung equation ng line na to, uh, this line has an equation of 2x minus, uh, minus y is equal to uh, 5. So, this is the first uh, line. The other equation, or the other tangent line, this is at positive 2. Okay, positive 2, dito naman siya sa baba, negative 1. So, okay. And according to the coordinate of this point is negative 2, positive 1. Well, this one is okay, positive 2, negative 1. And the equation of this line is 2x minus y is equal to positive uh, 5. So these are the two uh, tangent lines having a slope of uh, 2. So 2 vertical, 1 horizontal. So I think that is uh, the slope. Or uh, So this should be uh, negative uh, 5. So 2x minus y is equal to negative 5. That is for coordinates negative 2, 1. For x 2, negative 1. 2, negative 1. 2, x minus y is equal to 5. Alright, so let's try another example. So let's have another example. Alright, so find the tangent lines to the curve y is equal to x cubed minus 2x plus 3 and parallel to the line uh, 10x minus y is equal to uh, 3. So again, uh, first, we need to determine what will be the slope equation from the given uh, curve. That is, y is equal to uh, x cubed minus 2x plus uh, 3. So this is a curve that uh, will intersect intersect the, the x-axis three times. It has three possible uh, roots. So you have the first derivative. Let's so say this is y prime is so equal to 3x squared minus, okay, minus 2. So we have another given here that is a parallel a line. Di ba, ano ba yung sabi natin uh, way back in, on your analytic geometry when it comes to parallel lines? So when it comes to parallel lines, they have equal, equal slopes. So, for parallel lines, they will have the same or equal slopes. So, if we are to uh, realize this uh, in the slope form, we have y is equal to mx plus a b, again, from your analytic geometry. So, if we are to rearrange that, that is the same as y, transposing y, is equal to 10x, then this is minus 3. So, we have the slope should be equal to 10. Okay? Yung slope ng line na to is equal to uh, 10. So, sinasabi dito sa problem na to, we are looking for tangent lines that are parallel to this line. And parallel lines having equal slopes. So, we have the slope, therefore, we have the slope of the tangent line should be the same as the slope of this line equal to, okay, equal to 10. So, we have that is the same or it should be equal to y prime. Alright? The slope should be equal to 10. So, if you have to substitute, that is to say, uh, from this equation, y prime is equal to 3x squared minus 2. This is 10. is so equal to uh, 3x squared okay, minus 2. Then, 
Solving for x, 3x squared is equal to 10 plus 2, this is 12. Divided by 3, I will have that is 12 over 3 is uh, equal to 4. Then square root both sides, so again, which means we have two possible a tangent lines since the, the square root of 4 is either positive or negative. Okay, positive or negative, uh, to, those are the possible uh, tangent lines. So let us uh, determine the points of tangency. So we have the points of the tangency. So we have it's either positive or negative 2 for the value of x. So let's say if the value of x is equal to okay, nahin natin, positive 2. So we have the function y is equal to, that is x cubed, this is 2 raised to 3, minus twice of positive 2 plus a 3. So nag substitute lang ako ng 2 from this curve. Okay, to determine the points of uh, tangency. So we have y is equal to, okay, this is 8, okay, 8 minus 4 plus a 3. So we have y is equal to, Okay, equal to 7. So our first point of tangency that is at x equal to 2, positive uh, 7. Then, okay, for the second point of, tan point of tangency, if x this time, we're using the negative, this is negative uh, 2. Okay, so we have okay, the value of y is not equal to okay, negative 2, this is negative 2 cubed minus 2 times uh, negative 2 plus uh, 3. So we have an equivalent of y, this is not equal to negative 8, negative times negative is positive plus 3. So we have the other value of y is so equal to negative 8 plus 4 plus 3 is positive, uh, this is negative 1. So the other points of point of tangency that is at negative 2 and negative 1. Okay? So those are uh, the points of tangency, 2, 7, negative 2, negative 1. Okay, let us determine the equations. Okay, so we have the first, my first point of tangency that is at 2, positive 7. Okay, 2, positive 7. And we have the slope of the tangent line should be equal to 10. So from the slope equation, n is equal to y minus y1 divided by x minus okay, x sub 1. Okay, the required slope is 10 equal to y minus, this is a 7 divided by x minus okay, positive a 2. So by cross multiplication, this is now 10x minus 20 is now equal to y minus 7. So we have 10x minus y is equal to negative 20 transpose that is positive 20 minus 7 positive 30. So this is the equation of the first tangent line. Alright, for the second tangent line. Alright, for the second tangent line that is now the second point, okay, we have a coordinate of negative 2 and negative 1. So the same slope equal to a pen. So we have m is equal to, we have 1 minus y1 divided by x minus x sub 1. The required slope is 10 equal to y minus Okay, this is negative 1, this is divided by x minus, this is negative uh, 2. So we have me, this is 10x, the cross multiplication, negative times negative is positive. Okay, that is plus uh, 20 is not equal to y minus negative 1 is y plus 1. So we have me, this is 10x. Transpose negative y, then transpose negative 20 plus 1 is negative 19. So this is the second equation.